so Utah pinned deep. The uh, play count, of course, is what's more factor. Time of possession not re terribly relevant in these up-tempo offenses, but the play count right now is just about even. It's just the Cows made their plays count. <laughs> Utah has not found any rhythm on offense. There's a decent first down run by Zach Moss. And wrapped up by Cameron Sapple, who's coming off a terrific game at ASU last week. And he's 51. a great story. Yep. I mean, this is a guy last year against Utah is when he burned his red shirt. You know, weren't sure if they were going to play him. And he's a unique athlete. They got him out of the state of Washington, which doesn't happen very often with Chris Peterson, obviously. But plays with great effort, yep. to be quite honest. Is he most. running for governor, by the way, <laughs> next month? <laughs> he could if he wants to. Are you kidding me? Second down, Moss. Going to cut inside, and you saw where he cut inside. See number 12 there on the left of your picture. Tim Patrick's back out there. So he's giving it a shot. He'll have to watch carefully when he runs around. Yeah, well, it looks like he was an ankle. At least that's kind of what they were working on with him on the sideline. And if you're a receiver and it's an ankle injury, you know, if it's not severe, if it's not a high sprain, you want to keep moving on it. Because if you don't, it's just going to either swell up or it's going to get stiff. So the best thing is just to see if you can move around. And a seven yard run there by Moss and a Utah first. Cal shifting on that four man front. And there's Patrick running it. And Patrick had it. Patrick doesn't have it anymore. Who does have it? And let's see. Of course, this always comes down to completed pass, fumble, or incomplete. Ruling is going to be Cal recovery. Kyle Whittingham wants to see it again. Well, it's the right ankle of Tim Patrick, and he just comes on the slant a little too gingerly. You know, it's almost like as he's getting tackled, he's worried, all right, let's yeah. make sure I don't fall and hurt. Hurt my ankle or get, get you know, rolled up on. Oh, I think, yeah, that angle may be the one. He had to catch for sure. Don't you think, Yogi? Yeah, it's, clean it's a catch. catch. The ball out before he hits the ground. And that previous, the end zone shot, it looked like it was. That's Jalen Hawkins getting a lot of uh, love on the Cal sideline. Patrick frustrated. This is the angle that may be the determining, maybe the best view. Ground no, cannot actually he's down. It. He's down there. Was the ball out? Yeah, this is a tough one. See Hawkins getting a lot of love, but it was. Uh, the newcomer will coach him. Chibuzu will coach him. That actually wraps up Patrick here in the cover. Catch. When he's down, down there. Is the ball out? This, yeah, you're right. This is the best angle right here. Seven's going to obscure just enough. Let's see. He's down there. Yeah, I think he's down. I think it's enough to overturn that. There's actually the Utah player coming in and obscuring the view. Chris Coit is our. Referees, so clearly on the headsets with the, the replay booth here and Command Central in San Francisco. I mean, number one, it's a huge play if Cal maintains the ball. But also, we got to talk about Tim Patrick and is he healthy enough to keep going in this ball game? Didn't look as strong as he does on slant routes traditionally. Patrick is still he's standing on this Utah sideline, holding holding the helmet in his hand. And again, we get into the whole situation here, the call on the field, which was, and we often see that in those kinds of situations, the call is let the play go. You can deaden the play much more easily. Yep, no doubt. Do you need conclusive video to overturn a field call, which was fumble recovery cap? This one's not easy. Yeah, this I, one is, this I, one's not easy. No, definitely not. But I, I enjoy when they take the time to yeah. really go through every angle. They see every angle that we all see right here and at home. But I think there's enough to overturn it. Yeah, first view, I thought it was uh, going to be the ball out, but I'm not sure. The more we've seen that left knee yeah. may have been down. All right, here's Chris Coit with the verdict. After review, the receiver completed the catch, and his knee was down with possession of ball at the 26-yard line. The ball belongs to Utah, second down. 
All right, so there's a uh, there's a saving play there for Utah, Cindy. Be happier about that play going Utah's way than Patrick. He was so frustrated when he came off under the official review. He threw his helmet so far, his teammate Singleton had to collect it for him. He said, I didn't fumble, I didn't fumble. Coach, we're going to get the ball back. And Cindy, and he's right. He's also on the sideline here on the first, or excuse me, on the play. It's a second down play. That's now a first down game. On the pass, that's the first time Kyle Fulks has been targeted. Tim Patrick, a big body that is so coveted now as a receiver, and, and in the football sense, he knows how to use it. Oh, he's playing at such a high okay. level. And when your mind's thinking I could do one thing, and your body's saying, ah, I don't know if I can explode off of that right, that right ankle, that's total frustration. So here's Shine busting it out, and Armand Shine trying to get out close to the line of the game. Good first down run for Utah. Well, oh, that will be something that will make their life much better. <laughs> no doubt, and you're seeing them right now. After that play and catch by Patrick, they're saying, no, we're going to run the football. This is our identity. As much as they've thrown the ball and won the game against C a week ago because of the passing game, the throw game, as Kyle Whittingham likes to call it, this is a team that's identity is built up front, pounding the rock, and they're going to try to see if they can wear down this Cal defensive front. Second down and one. Three receiver game, but Tim Patrick still is on the sideline. Quick throw there, but that's a low throw, and that is a, that's just a mistake by the quarterback because folks, even if he catches that, he can't go anywhere. Yeah, Troy Williams, he's been off a little bit this afternoon. You know, he missed a uh, comeback route in the first quarter. That is, you know, inexcusable. you got to make that completion. You throw those every day in practice. He's been completing them the last couple games as well. He's playing as well as any quarterback in the conference. Yeah, that's the pitch and catch throw that's just supposed to get you a couple yards and an easy first down. Now it's third and one. Williams is 8 of 15. 67 yards passing. He's throwing 15 already. That's a story. So now they will run it. And ooh, let's see where that mark is. This is going to be for progress. Shine may not have gotten there. And it's Cameron Saffle, you know, and then everybody just rallies to the football. You'll see him at the bottom of your screen. He just stays squared. He fights off one mm. block, two blocks. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, everybody rallies to the party and Kari Vanderbilt leading the way. But that's an incredible job by him. You know, this is a sophomore. This guy's not, you know, grown as much as a lot of the defensive linemen have in terms of maturity standpoint and his body, but he just plays so hard. They talk about him in practice, and he's just so relentless. Great job of utilizing yeah. his hands to get the block. That was, that's exactly a Yogi. That was a perfect example of that, right? Defensive lineman not, as you can see it, Utah wanted this measurement to give themselves time. And this one, I think Kyle Whittingham will go. What yeah, do you think? I think so, too. Even though it's his own side of the 50-yard line. And it's interesting. Less than a yard. In the zone read game, a lot of times defensive ends want to turn their hips. We'll see right half. This is a great time to call the zone read at times just to see if you can get a Cal defense over pursuit. Zach Moss, the back behind Williams. Now to his side. Fourth down run's going to get it. Put a bigger body out there to help lead the way with a block as well, and it helps Utah get the first. Oh, Jalen Hawkins, he had his shot right there. But Ken Hample, a tight end out there to help block. Well, as you said, the fourth downs they went for, including the end of the game against USC, was the one that was mind blowing because with Andy Phillips, he figured that was a sure field goal and overtime. Game was on the line, <laughs> winning and went for it, Utah won. Here's Patrick back in, working the opposite side there, and he makes the catch just across the 50. It's Hopper. You know, it's a simple, quick game out route. I mean, that is not full speed Tim Patrick. No. We've seen him run routes, whether it's pregame, on game film. So at what point, if you're on the Cal side, do you say get up and press him? Uh, right now, you have to. I think Make him beat you back? 100%. Make him, yeah. the, the only throw they'll be able to beat me on if I'm a corner is back shoulder throws, and it's going to have to be perfect. But I'm up in his grill. You'll see him at the bottom of your screen right now. Right there. 
And it's a second down give to Moss, and Moss drives ahead. Cal ripped at the football there. They didn't really tackle, and Moss is able to get a first down. Watch Westerfield come in here. Looks like he's trying to rip the ball out. And Moss winds up getting the first. Well, Utah's in a situation here. They took a couple of shots in the first quarter, Yogi. Two long touchdown passes by Cal. If Utah can score on this drive, oh, you're not to halftime yet, but you're closing in on it. They're very much in this thing. Williams sets up inside screen. Cal, I bet, kind of covered on all flanks. Tyrone Smith doesn't catch the ball. Check out Evan Weaver at the top of the screen on this. This is really what makes the play. It's, it's where everybody wants to go at the top. It's right up top, okay? You're going to see Troy Williams. He's going to want to throw the screen to his left. See break. This is a true freshman, Ted. This is a true freshman. Doesn't play a ton out of Gonzaga prep in Spokane, Washington. He reads the screen, forces Troy Williams to come back side. Defense is all over. So second down, Utah. Got a lot of space there. So Raylan Singleton will have a Utah first down inside the Cal 30. It's going to be interesting to see what Cal and defensive coordinator Art Kaufman does because now if all of a sudden you want to play off coverage and that, keep everything in front of you, Troy Williams will pick you apart. Well, that cushion was way too much. Ridiculous, right. But if you want to get up and press, if Utah's going to keep running the ball, all of a sudden now my eyes are turned to the offense and you can see explosive runs as they get to the second level. So it's that game of chess which is why we love football so much happening right before our eyes. Pitch back, going to the end zone, not there. Incomplete throw by Williams. Wilson was the run, man, wide receiver running down the field. Looked like that might be the target. So you'll see Wilson and Cal had a cover. Well, they had the opportunity to run a corner out here, and you're going to see Luke Rabenzer, former quarterback. He's just playing free safety, reads it all day long, all over that bad boy, shut down the trick play. Well, Yogi, we are talking, even on the field before the game, some of the Utah coaches were talking to Kyle Whittingham's thing is control the game. Control the tempo. Right now, this will be the 35th play for Utah, just 23 for Cal. Well, that's one of his first few drives. They've controlled the game. Now McCormick trying to pick his way. Nice job. Boy, Troy McCormick did that very well as the running back and winds up gaining seven. Incredible patience. You see this offensive line? How about the feet? By Sam Tebby. Yeah. I mean, that, that's athletic. That's an impressive job. He hasn't a lot of sack all season long. They say he's the most athletic of the offensive lineman, the senior out of Texas. We love that. That was the left guard at the very end, 54. Asiata, the left guard, all the way out on the right numbers. And when McCormick said he cut behind the hip, that was really something. Now third and three. Shine to the middle. Shine. He's not going to be there. Tried to bull straight ahead. He's going to be close, but this is going to give. Kyle Whittingham is in that fourth down <laughs> mode here. It's going to be another fourth down decision. And this one's tricky. It's about a yard. They're going for it, but keep in mind, Utah's going to get the ball coming out of the half. So this is an interesting one. And this is a full yard now. This is all right here. James Looney, number nine for Cal. He's got to find some penetration inside. Tight end Hamper sliding, Shine gets it. Shine should have enough. Yeah, he definitely has enough. Look at him. But he came out the other side of that pile and drives it down inside the 15. And uh, the Utes are driving right into their section of fans, the red section. And How about the center? To me, I mean, after the first two drives, Falamaka's held his own. And that's what you got to do at center. You know, we talked to J.J. Dealman, who's been out since that injury in the first quarter about playing, and it's about having a body on you so quickly, getting your hands up after the snap. He's done a nice job after his first two initial drives. So now can Utah finish this drive? Shine trying. Armand Shine is down near the six. All right, let's go back down to the field with Cindy. Right now, the game is going exactly the way Kyle Whittingham hoped it would. Dominate time of possession. They lead the Pac-12 in that category. They've chewed up more than 16 minutes on the clock. Second. Grind, grind, grind. It's just the way he draws it up. 
And the best part of that is that it keeps Cal's offense off the field. Well, Zach Moss, well, that's one. That'll be interesting. Let's pull that back, Yogi. Does the quarterback need to keep that ball? Vanderbilt right there on the on the run blitz for Cal. Well, you, we'll take a look at it. It's that simple zone read. Yeah. They're on the slide back side. <laughs> You're kind of dead either way. Incredible yeah. job by Rebenzer playing the quarterback. That's Vanderbilt playing the back. And you're always taught, if it's ugly, just give it. Just give the run, see if that guy can do something versus a quarterback trying to make a play in the backfield. Because all of a sudden, it could be a 10-yard loss versus what just happened. All right, well, this has been some drive for Utah, but now they face third down and eight. Moss, the running back. No Tim Patrick. End zone throw, receiver down, incomplete. Singleton went down. And Utah going to be frustrated because this is a long drive with a lot of possession. And now they're, let's see, is there a flag? After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 51. Half the distance to the goal. Wow. Automatic first down. Well, that, that's a killer. Saffle. Sonny Dykes talked to us yesterday. He used a word. Well, let's see. First, let's see what happens. He's going to be at the bottom yeah. of the screen. So he was close to the quarterback. Something clearly went on at the end. And Sonny Dykes used a word yesterday with us when we talked to him. And I asked him about the Vic and Weary play here two weeks ago against Texas. And he said, he said it was about as selfish yeah. a move as a, as a teammate can have. And that's that kind of penalty. Now, we don't know what he did. We don't know what he did. Right. But that's a, I mean, that's just a, that's terrible. Yeah, ball that, that. And the first and goal, Utah. They need to take advantage. Williams goes right out at the five. Didn't didn't try to cut it back in. And now we're going to see from another view. Do we see the tail end here? Oh, there it is. 100%. You cannot the throw a slash. Oh, the you gesture. can't do that. Oh, okay, yeah. 100%. That gets called every, every time. time. It's been called all across the country. It's a selfish move. He deserves to get called yep. out. They deserve the penalty on that. Oh, that's automatic. There's no, you're exactly right. And it's too bad. I mean, you. But our crew caught the very tail end of that. That's well done. And that, that's a, that could be a game changer. And that know? is, a, and you know what? Sonny Dykes is right. That is selfish. Yeah. Second and goal. Armand Shine running hard in the goal line, and he's in. Touchdown, Utah. Well, that was a marathon drive by the Utes, kept alive by the personal foul penalty, the unsportsmanlike conduct foul, and finally, on their 20th play, they cash in. You know, how do you beat Cal's explosive offense? Hold the ball for nine straight minutes, 20 plays and run the rock. I mean, that, as Cindy mentioned, is exactly what Kyle Winningham hoped to do. It didn't start that way, but they settled down. The ruling of the touchdown is under review. We'll take a look at the touchdown, touchdown, but 20 plays. That's impressive. As an offensive line unit, just to keep marching and marching, obviously got some massive help on the personal foul. We'll see if that knee was down. Huh? That's close, Ted. What do you think? Well, where's the ball? I mean, isn't that where you're supposed to be, yeah. where the ball is? Yeah, that previous when angle was the best down. one. Okay. Here it is. If you can hold it right, ball. I think it's going to come back. I think they're going to get it on the inch yard line. They get 21 plays, you know? Yeah. Armand Shine, who. So this is a homecoming game for him. Skyline High School in Oakland, a well-known football school in the West. Went to American River College. That's where Utah got him again. He was a late ad this year. Let's fit right into their running back rotation. Yeah, well, look, the need a running back, Utah. After review, the ruling on the field stands as called. Touchdown. I personally like that. I, I don't think replay should get into parsing that kind of play that, because when the knee goes down, the ball's across the plane of the goal. Yeah, I thought it was a hair short. Yeah. But but speaking of shine, that's exactly where they got Devontae Booker. Same junior college. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of pumping up the backs for the Utes. You know, that's a huge drop. So Phillips out for the point. Well, about 
17 plays ago. I think we said that, right? If Utah could score on this drive, it'd be a good thing for him. Guess what? It's only a four-point game, two minutes in the half.